welcome to our Laravel Eloquent tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter while building APIs. Our viewer is working on an app and wants to know how to join a table to enhance their data retrieval process. Let's break down the scenario. Our viewer has an items table with various attributes, including a currency ID that links to a currencies table. They want to pull items from the database and return them in a structured JSON format, but with the currency details included as an object instead of just an ID. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To join the items table with the currencies table in Laravel Eloquent, we will use the with method to eager load the related currency data. Next, we need to define the relationship in the item model. This will allow us to access the currency data directly from the item. Now, when we retrieve the items, the currency data will be included. We can format the output to match the desired JSON structure. Finally, return the formatted items as a JSON response from your API endpoint. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To join a table in Laravel Eloquent, start by defining a relationship in your item model. Use the hasMany method to link it to the currency model. Next, in your controller, Retrieve all items along with their associated currencies using the with method. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To join tables in Laravel Eloquent, you can define relationships in your models. For example, in the company model, you can use a has many relationship for items. In the item model, you can define a belongs to relationship for currency. This allows you to access related currency data easily. In your controller, you can retrieve items with their associated currency using the with method. You can also apply sorting and filtering based on your needs. The result will include items with their details and associated currency information. This is useful for displaying data in a structured format. You can also simplify your query by directly loading items with their currency in one go, making your code cleaner. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.